Well, the Baloch Republican Party has raised the issue of repeated human rights abuses in Pakistan's Balochistan province at the United Nations Human Rights Council session in Geneva on Monday. Now, speaking at the United Nations Human Rights Council, Abdul Nawaz Bukti, representative of the Baloch Republican Party, has said that Pakistan continues to violate the basic human rights, including the civil, social, political and cultural rights of the Baloch people. Now, Bukti has also accused Pakistan of persecuting the Baloch people on the basis of their national identity and political opinion. rights violations continue unabated in Balochistan. Pakistani army pursues this notorious policy of eliminating the Baloch people from their own homeland. Thousands of Baloch people have disappeared without trace in Balochistan. Thousands of mutilated dead bodies of previously missing Baloch people have re been recovered across Balochistan. Well, Bukti further said that Pakistan was challenging the authority of the UN Human Rights Council by denying the Baloch people essentially the basic rights and committing grave violations of international human rights standards. Pakistan is playing a dubious role. It recognized Baloch political parties as banned outfits, even if it didn't spare the political organizations of students. Whereas religious extremists and jihadi organizations such as Lashkar-e Taiba, Sipai Saba, Jamaat ul Dawa, Afghan Taliban, and Hafiz Said are a few examples who openly operate and recruit in Balochistan. Meanwhile, Pakistan's Foreign Office has issued a dimash to, New to Switzerland's Ambassador Thomas Colley over the alleged anti-Pakistan activities on Swiss soil. Now, the Pakistan Foreign Office has alleged Switzerland is allowing its territory by elements who are linked with a terrorist organization perpetrating terrorism and violence within Pakistan.